Hello and welcome back to this Crusader Kings 3 Antioch roleplay campaign. Now, as you can see from the last episode, we managed to form the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Now, if we look our eyes to the east, a lot is going on. The uh, revolt against the Mongol, uh, Mongol horde actually succeeded um, and a load of places became independent. However, um, the Kagan, the Kokochu, the Unworthy, uh, is trying to win it back, well, win back a lot of his uh, territories. Um, He's got a few wars and some uh, invasions of the Mon of the Persian Empire. However, there's a Persian Matar Mat Mataridi uprising as well. There's a lot of boys, a lot of enemies, and he hasn't got the most amount of money at the moment. At the moment, he's not very well health either. Although he has got a lot of bonuses, uh, which means he's going to live for quite a long time. However, I think it is time for us to do something. I think it's time for us to actually potentially go in and maybe try and snipe off Antioch. Now yes, I know, I know we've tried to do it before, we tried to do it with the IU bids and we got absolutely slapped. Um, the thing is, we're actually quite strong, I've been investing to my men at arms, um, alright, and uh, I've also been investing in some alliances that are not too bad, as I say we've got, a, we've got about 13,000 men ourselves, we've got a potential another about 12,000 men to call upon as well, plus potentially holy orders. Um, which means saving my piety for, and plus potential mercenaries as well. Um, so I think we are in a strong position, and while the Mongols are distracted, at least for a little bit, at least for a little bit, uh, I think we go in for Jerusalem. Uh, Jerusalem, we go in for Antioch, finally reclaim our homeland um, after all of these years. However, before that, we are sat on a really good amount of prestige, uh, and I'm going to use that uh, to actually diverge our culture. We wanted to do, to do this for quite a while, actually. Uh, I want to try and make a Jerusalem is pretty cool, um, but instead I'm going to call it um, Antiochen, because we are of course of Antiochen. Although we do not have it, it is our homeland. It is our family ancestral seat, kind of yeah. Um, collective noun: the Antiochens. Antiochians prefix. Antioch, Antiochen. It is all the Antioch. Yeah, I think pretty sure you can use that for all of them. Um, we're going to go on Bellicose purely because I think we've won this territory by the sword. We're going to have to defend it by the sword. That is what put there. In terms of traditions, ooh, we haven't really got any. <laughs> nothing good here. Nothing good. Castle keepers. Uh, that's pretty good actually. Chest on the guest. I would love to maybe add on some more, but you can't really. Um, mm. Architect, castle keepers, chest on that. That's maybe. That's maybe. Mm, no, you know. What, let's keep it. Let's keep it the same. I think it just makes sense that we've developed away from uh, French culture. We are now very much different to the rest of the French uh, rulers over on continental Europe. So we're going to diverge culture for a load of prestige. Maybe I could have done this a little bit, bit, a little bit better, a little bit more meta. But I am role playing this. Um, Dorvolga, Frankish, men only, uh, French, yeah, we shall take Antioch and love that purple colour as well. Diverge the culture to a new age, a new era, a new people, the Antiochian divergence. There we go, baby. Uh, I'm the cultural head, fantastic. Uh, I have got no learning, I don't think. Well, it was about learning. At a uh, one late medieval, which is fantastic. Uh, bombards could be huge. Standing armies, play armour. The heavy cav, I think we really need that, but primogeniture, yes, we need that, we need that, so we're going to five learning. It's going to take us 21 years, yeah, we are not going to be able to see that. Any time soon, we're just going to press play, let that go, and achievement unlocked, changing course, um, of course, diverging the culture. Um, but now let's do it. Let's actually do it. Now, I know we've seen before that they have massive player bonus, but the reason why I'm actually a little bit... Um, optimistic is because I only want to go in for one county, I only want to go in for Antioch here. By the way, by the way, because I haven't held Antioch for a certain amount of years, it destroyed the duchy. So now I've just got to press claim on it, uh, which of course means I can't actually press my claim on it. Uh, let me just do this. So uh, I've only got uh, my claims, it's just for, oh, it's still hold that of Antioch. Oh, I kind of want it, I want it, I want it. I really do want it. The whole duchy, I oh, do it, just go for Antioch here. The county itself, no, I think we're going to go. All in. We're gonna go in it for, in it to win it. We've got to try it, but let's do it. I am, of course, 51 years of age. Both on the lame. I'm a crusader, and I want to try and win back my territory. I am getting older. Yes, I know, but so is he, the 60-year-old Kagan. And we're gonna try. First things first. Allies, get in here. Uh, Duke Louis of Valois. 
Um, excuse me, I have lots more allies than that. I should have a lot more allies than that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, what about Ankana? Can I call you in? No. No, you are joking. You are actually joking. There's no way I'm allied with them, but I'm too far. <laughs> no, you are. That is a joke. That is that is a joke. That is a joke. Any more? I bet you these guys are too. Why could I call you in before? I don't understand. Um... Oh, no. Oh, because, of course, I was a, it was when I was a vassal in France, I was able to oh, have the Diplo range. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, this has already not gone to a good start, and we haven't even raised our boys yet. Um, let's get my rally point. Move it to Shazar. And raise the boys. Raise all the boys there. Um, I will raise men at arms as well. We're calling in Valois, who actually pretty powerful, and I've got some land literally here in Damascus. Um, so I'm not going to get rid of them yet. I think us maybe going for the Mongols instead of France actually is a good move because we're actually getting Valois on our side. But I'm going to wait a little bit to get the uh, men at arms, and there we go, the achievement creating a divergent culture, which I've actually done before, so we love it. That's another achievement of this campaign. We're going to get the Teutonic Order, baby. Oh. Oh, look at that, look at that, 600 piety, boom, there you go, we've got 5,000 boys, I'm going to keep them in chase for now, um, and Louis, join the war, now all you need to do, all you really need to do, is just burn down Antioch, just occupy these, so get a ticking war score, do it as fast as we can, we want to move you to Masyaf, how long have we got here, I need a, f I need a siege engineer, how long have we got? Four months. That's not bad, actually, but we're going to try and get even less on that. Siege Engineer, please. Siege Engineer. Any Siege Engineers? Any at all. I don't care how bad you are. Oh, my goodness. We've got no Siege Engineers. Oh, this is going from bad to worse. It's going from bad to worse. So this is going to be a long, drawn-out campaign. Let's go on Organized Army instead so we keep the money. But I've got a good amount of money. Of course, I actually have been to the Pope as a piety needed for Holy Orders. is not actually that much, so I have endorsed. Well, I've got the Pope to endorse me now. Teutonic Order. The Teutons shall keep a watch out uh, in the East. If we see a big Mongol stack come towards us, well, we know it's GG. Um, I'll move you actually. And oh, the scandalous priest Politu is called doing torturing a servant boy in a secret chamber. Oh my goodness. Condemn him. How dare he? That, whoa. Oh no. I'm terrified. I'm terrified that we're just going to get a massive 50,000. 50,000 just stack of Mongol, of angry horse archers to come against us, but we can take Antioch, that's actually going to be pretty huge, we'll move you up, um, you're good supply at the moment, we'll move you up, um, 40 days left in Antioch, oh that's a big army there, oh Valois, you're giving me jump scares at this point, we're sure if we shouldn't need Damascus, that's not Damascus, Jabala, if we take Antioch, this county as well, okay we are going to need it, that's fine, so many, we're going to move to the capital here of Isandra, and you're going to move to Antioch itself, uh, I know supply is horrific, I know we can take this, that is ticking war score and that's going to be such an easy, uh, that's going to give us such a good way to win. Despacito non assuade, I'm trying to sway the uh, Despacito of Hellas because they are extremely powerful and actually attacking Sicily. Now this isn't the King of Sicily, this is a Duchy of Sicily which somehow became independent, I don't know. I don't know, a peasant leader, populist leader, that would be how. Um, so while Sicily, the kingdom, was fighting against the Ayyubids, um, which is white peace, our King Miles II isn't doing great. Um, maybe I, I would try and maybe get an ally to him, but uh, the, and maybe it might be worth us going after the Ayyubids. And there's a dissolution war, always fighting him, which isn't going great. He's pretty much all fully uh, capped and occupied. I'm not. There's no no big Mongol army coming to us yet, but we get this county that is two separate. Or do I maybe go for Halab? With the Teutons. Let's do that. Let's do that. A bit of a buffer zone between us and potential Mongol invaders. Um, that's, a, that's a lot of Islamic soldiers going about here, which I'm not enjoying. We're about to get this. Please be the whole county. It is, baby. 25% now. That is the war target. Occupied, which means we are going to start getting ticking war score soon. Hopefully. Um... Our only problem is supply is atrocious at the moment, so I'm going to f get my whole army. Oh, just no, literally nowhere has any supply. I'm gonna split it in half. 
the other half is going to go there and you're the ones with all of the trebuchets we're going to head you out east and help out actually you can go over to here and you're just going to help out we're going to keep a, in our main army to be fine i do not want to expand too far west there we are we're too far east we're getting ticking what's got that's huge that is massive absolutely massive and uh where have I just completely misclicked? Where have they gone? Where have my, where have my, uh, excuse me? Did I just delete them? Did I just delete them? Am I dumb? Am I just... I did, I must have done, I must have done, I must have done. You, oh, you love you idiot. You idiot, um... Well, you keep um, you keep doing that we're fine we're fine we're fine we're literally on 41% war score we're doing fine now we haven't got any siege at weapons here 7 years hopefully this and Naven Ruler he lost he's lost the war in an invasion that is huge for us unfortunately because it's a Mongol castle's belly he's not going to get any ticking war score he's winning against the populist revolt which at least means although he's not attacking us it means he's attacking them which I will take I will fully take um, so that's cool. That's cool. We like that. We like that a lot. Um, you reinforcing slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. You know what? You can reinforce on the way. May as well wait until you're up to full six years in Halab. Yeah, that's not that's not good. That's not working at all. Um, Valois, you could really help me out. Help me out here. Um, merge you together. 13 months in her lab, still on 46%. We're pretty good. We could wipe peace out if we wanted to. I'm still not seeing any major Mongol army around us, which is huge. But if we can get our Holy Land, our Holy Land, our homelands back, that is going to be massive. Um, you know what? Let's move out. Let's actually try and uh, take a bit more territory. Let's take Hammer. Four years. Oh, ah, this playing on the start date. Ah, oh, siege weapons are so, so important. I've got another martial life dog. I love it. I managed to get down Household Guard because it's extra knights, but I think now we're going to go down this one. Um, Army Gold Maintenance minus 15%. Absolutely insane. We're actually making money now. We're making money. We could get so many mercenaries if we wanted to. Again, I'm not going to do that just yet. We're going to wait. Calm down and wait. Um, nine months there. Ooh, no enemy army. No enemy army. We can get the siege done eight months. Halab. That would be huge. Um, nowhere my arms getting burnt down to the ground yet uh, fantastic come on five months that was a nice little tick there merchant stores and bow back love it keep going keep going keep going keep going and compliments and shape of faith in god are you a zealot you are you're a righteous zealot sure you're different religion to me but yeah fine we'll we'll tell you what you want to hear whisper sweet words in your ear now oh come on get the siege done three months in halab it's not going to be much war score, but it's something, and we, we need that. We need it so badly now. Valois, you could be doing a lot better under Baldric. Uh, my cousin, Count Savary, a Jacques Marshal of Chart, that's nowhere near me. I don't particularly care. And uh, 20,000, oh, please don't come to me. Yeah, they're not coming to me. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, go away. And spouse acting on my behalf. My wife spends a significant time traveling the realm with her honor guard. There are many matters she can settle on my behalf. And the military presence, Queen Judith, brings with her as a firm reminder of my right to rule. Ah, there we are. Make sure now. Ooh, dread would be nice. Dread would be very nice. Uh, I've got 30 dread, not, which isn't a massive amount, but I think we're being, we're ruling quite well. But I think we're at war. We need to make sure that people know that we rule with a, a firm hand. A, fir a fair one, but a firm one. And 64% now, that is huge, that is massive. Um, oh, I don't want to push out too far. I don't want to push out too far. Um, let's move you into Arica. Is Damascus going to... Oh, plague, 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 plague. No, 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 no. Um, upper... I don't know what I'm going to pronounce that. 20 fatalities already, literally right next to our besieging armies. Hopefully we'll be fine. 66% war support, uh, war uh, contribution, whatever at the moment. Um, the Teutons doing God's good work. Um, you know, I'll move you south as well. Um, and are you going to help me, Valois? No, no, cool, amazing. 
world court what have we got and another fake uh, notification call we got we're doing all right we're doing all right if we can get antioch huge massive absolutely massive the role play there would be insane we're returning home that gives us legitimacy to our rule and it will of course become our capital and as it is the capital of our culture as well we are at the end of the day antiochian uh, surya being taken come on please 71 percent 171 percent so close we're so close the things we do and there we go looks like uh judith my queen has just got a bit of opinion she's also getting a bit of weight that's fine we're, we're old people now she's 60 years old or she's 60 i am not too far behind him in my 50s have to do what you have to do nephew release how are you doing for supply 295 and 86 yeah we're all right we're all right and uh yeah valois is sieging down homs again that was ours about the beginning of this playthrough come on and strategical impasse i'm an amazing soldier so of course we're going to employ both strategies now still got 18 months in hamar Three months now come on seed one oh we're getting so close 84 percent we haven't even seen a single mongol we haven't even seen a single horse archer 96 percent now come on 45 days hammer this has got to be it this has got to be it 100 percent there we go we haven't even seen a single a single mongol i don't understand how it's taken i don't understand they're they're fending against punjab punjab invasion of punjab Wow, 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 wow! Who's that? The it is the Ghaznavid. Are you a conqueror? No, you're not. You're just a forty-six-year-old who's decided to take on the Mongols. We love it. We absolutely love it. We have a hundred percent with the Mongols. We're going to peace out with them and take Antioch in force. Demands there we go. Oh yes, oh yes. Disband all. Straight up Antioch. Oh baby, we're back. We are back. We are going to get some control in the county. We've got to have to press play for that. Um, get some control there. Holy order dismissed. You've done good work. And Antioch, you are going to become our capital. Move realm cap capital here. We are back, baby. We are back. We now have too many duchies again. But I don't care. Um, Valois, I appreciate it. I'm not going to do a weave inspiration. Actually, I've got money I can do. Court artifacts. What have I got? Yep, nothing. Okay, yeah, we can do we can do a, a weave inspiration. I'm mastered by your peer. Yeah, sure. 113 to weave a historical record. Do it. Do it. Do it. We've now got too many counties. Jabala, I think we'll get I think we'll get rid of that. It's yeah, it's stinky. It is stinky. I think we'll just give it to an Antiochian. Um you will do now on five of five. There we go, we've done it. We've actually taken a bit more of our territory, which is huge. Pay ransom, you got to pay to me. That's fine, that is amazing. We love it, we love it. Give me all the money, prison can be ransomed. Lots of Ayubids. Took a lot of Ayubid territory. And Nejala Ayubid, sure, we'll take all their money. Thank you very much. And actually, in the, let's have a look at Antioch. Uh, what kind of men at arms are the buildings suggesting? We've got water wheels, we've got windmills, but we've got shipwrights. Very good economic building, very good economic. It's got ooh, camp smiths, so that's skirmish and archers. And then we've got watchtowers, which is heavy inf and cavalry. It might be worth getting some heavy inf, to be honest. We haven't actually got any of that in our yet. Uh, pikemen are actually... Uh, pikemen are unstationed, so there we are. But I think Antioch, you'll become an economic one. Let's get some water wheels on. And let's make this an economic one. Now, we'll be able to do a duchy building, but let's just calm down for now. Um, what about Tripoli? Beirut. Um, duchy building. This is a station regiment. Is siege work. So I think we might be able to get some siege works in. Let's do that. Let's do that. Station, siege weapon, toughness, and effectiveness. Yeah. Let's spend the money that the Pope has given us. He has seen that we are truly, and actually, no, the plague is in our realm, the plague is in our realm, but we've seen that we truly are a good ruler of this land, and we are an effective one. We're keeping the hordes of the Mongols at bay, and acting as, as the voice and as the sword of Christendom in the Middle East. With the help of Valois, of course, but we're the main driving force behind it, let's not kid ourselves. Uh, Tripolis, 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 all station armoured horsemen, yes, baby. Um, 
I think we can stack the damage even more. Courier stations or blacksmith, let's go and damage, damage, damage. 750, that's expensive. But let's do it. Let's absolutely do it. Let's stack the damage. Absolutely stack it. And I got a tax collector, baby. Um, and my son and heir. Yeah, why not? Um, I've got three tax... Okay, okay, cool, cool. Um, I don't know if they'll do much. We pay ransom, pay to me. Yes, you shall indeed. Pay ransom to me. Yes, you shall. Oh, this has been such, such a successful episode. Um... We're doing well. We're doing very, very well at the moment. Um, I say capital now. We're okay for now. But Antioch, we've got it back, baby. We've got it back. Still receiving lots and lots of ransom notes. I know what you need. Ooh. Pay to me, yep. How is your war with the Punjab going? And Antioch House banner. I don't... You're just having a look. I don't really want to destroy the Antioch house ban. If you want to do the Poitiers one, you can do, but not the Antioch one. And, oh, oh, my alliance has ended since they're no longer married or betrothed. That's a shame. Well, we've just lost Ancona and Pedessa. So that means my... Okay, and... Oh, too much, only lot, oh the role play here. We've got an inspiration and name to remember. Who should we do it to? But my beloved Judith, maybe. But only the Lord guides me. Well, Crusader, at the end of the day, I think that made it amazing. Role play sense uh, claps the empire. Whoa, whoa, whoa! While passing, while the passing of the emperor Kokushu, several successors have claimed the position of Great Khan. With none of them recognizing the others, we are finally seeing the end of the Mongol Mongols as a unified emperor. They may not be weak, but they're no longer stand united behind a single universal ruler. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, that's massive. So now. We've got a few em is that emperor empire it looks like an empire. Um, I don't know. It's just a tribal realm. It isn't literally isn't telling me. Um, yes, it is. And is um, we've got a few. We've got the golden hall. We've got the Borgin. We've got the Chagatai Ilkhanate. These are our dudes. And oh, oh no, that's all part of the same realm. Ah, that's a shame. That is a shame. This guy, he is not actually the strongest of the realms. He's not the dynasty leader. But that is huge. That is massive. If we, if you can have succession wars, he's losing men because he's, is he dishing stuff out? He's got some economy, not a massive amount. Um, and he's already he's in a he's in a, a vassalization war in uh, Yadzi. What on earth is that? Um, ah, that's not good. He has got eight thousand men though, and he's looking. Oh, he's looking, he's looking west, he's looking east. Well, he's only got 12,000 men, in, and a lot of that is mercenaries. He has got 6,000 special soldiers, but he hasn't got many men at arms. He's got some house guard, actually, which is going to be very, very good. But, uh, ooh, he's got allies, he's got allies, he's got a big amount of allies, but not a massive amount. I think, oh baby, the shift of power in the region has finally happened. We're finally no longer an act, just nobody. We're actually one of the leaders we are actually one of the leaders especially now we've got antioch under our control we are back in our home where our grandfather grandfather both on the stammerer i think it was where he grew up and where our house seat is um the house of antioch now claim back our own possessions and we are poised poised to go on and take some more finally we can actually do something now I'm going to end this episode here. You guys are my advisors. I think, when do we go to war? We get to, can't, God, he's, uh, excuse me. Why can't I holy war against you? There's no way you're Christian. You're orthodox, orthodox. Wow. Wow. The new, the Mongol uh, emperor is orthodox next to us. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is also very not good. For what about his vassals? Those vassals, Vajrana, Tengri, Ashery, Tumavik. What is this maturity? I've just clicked on what six different rulers and the six different religions, all different from the empires. Oh, this is going to be a mess. I cannot wait to jump in on this and to exploit this weakness in the east. God wills it, it shall be ours. Getting it to Utrima. We haven't really been looking there, but now it's becoming a, a lot better. It's becoming a lot more uh, 
feasible. We are now a fair bit of a way towards. We've got a lot of way to go, but that's only what a few, a few kingdoms, really. Look at that. That is just Jazeera, Syria, Mesopotamia, a bit of Arabia, and Sinai. And then there we are. But we are. We've got good eco. We've got very good eco. We've got good men at arms. Um, We've got allies now, not as much. We've only got Valois, who is loyal. Valois and Budukaus, who we can't actually call on. Um, which isn't bad. Me and Valois, him in Damascus. We shot my nephew, Duke Louis the Third, who is actually severely injured. Um, we're going to take down these infidels and these horse lords to the east. And oh, baby, I cannot wait. Whoa, actually, whoa, pump the brakes. Kagamba die. The guy bothering us. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He's a conqueror. He's a conqueror. That's bad. That is bad. Vassals will fall in line. Armies will flock to their banners. That is bad. That is that we need to kill. we need to chop off the head quickly. He's only got twelve thousand men, we need to go quickly. But the problem is we just do not have We do not have claims. We do we need to work on claims. We need to work on claims right now. I don't suppose I can go for the King of Syria. I own eight, we need twelve, and then I can maybe deserve it. Ah, oh, such a shame. Well, anyway, let me know. I'm not actually born in the Ayubis up in the north. Ooh, ooh, they're defending against uh, Aragon for Tripolitania. Maybe we could do something there. Maybe we can do something. Holy War for County, maybe? Ooh, maybe even Holy War for Duchy. Ooh, well, things are spiced up. Things have very much spiced up. Are you a conquer? No, that, no, that's broken. That, the fact that all of all of these empires are now con have the conquer trait. What have they conquered? What have they conquered? Nothing. Nothing. I'm going to be the one conquering them, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, I'm over time. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe to the channel. If you've got any suggestions, you guys have, of course, my counsellors, you are my advisors. Please let me know what you would do. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>